What's going on guys, it's Ash here, welcome back to another World Cup video uh, today. Uh, I'm going to be giving my review on England's 6-1 win over Panama. Um, it's a record breaking win, the most goals England have ever scored in a World Cup game. Um, they've never ever scored anything like 5 or 6 goals in a game before. Uh, in a World Cup game before so yeah uh, an absolutely record-breaking game and the first half gotta talk about the first half 5-0 up at half time that is just absolutely absolutely incredible yes it is Panama so it doesn't it isn't completely shocking it is in a way but it's not completely shocking because it is against Panama. No offense to, uh, to to Panama, but they are uh, kind of the weakest team in in the World Cup, um, and it proved because they've been eliminated now. But still, um, to get to get five to be five nil up or get five goals in any first half is an amazing feat. Uh, still an amazing feat. Doesn't matter what the team is, whether it's the weakest team in the World Cup or the best team in the World Cup. Um, or, or in any game for that matter, five nil up at half time is absolutely incredible. Um, John Stones getting two goals, um, and uh, Harry Kane uh, getting two goals uh, via a penalty in any time in the first half and uh, uh, an earlier, uh, an earlier uh, one as well, an earlier goal as well. Um, so uh, yeah. Uh, 5 0 up at half time. What could possibly go wrong? You, you pretty much, you pretty much set yourself up for victory. And uh, continuing into the second half, nothing really went, went wrong. Uh, we even added a sixth. We went six 0 up uh, against Panama. Um, Harry Kane uh, getting his hat trick. Um, not, um, not to forget also. Um, also, um, Jesse Lingard scoring an absolute screamer as well. Um, that was brilliant as well. John, John Stones getting a brace, uh, Harry Kane getting a hat trick, and uh, Lingard joining in on the action as well, getting a goal. So, a brilliant team performance. Six goals, six nil up, uh, and then uh, we just took our foot off the gas because six nil up, you don't really expect to lose from there, do you? Or even draw for that matter. You don't expect to. Uh, to lose a 6-0 lead uh, to 6-6, especially against a team like Panama. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty comfortable uh, from then on in. Um, we just saw the game out. Panama did get their first goal um, in the World Cup and their, uh, possibly their last as well. Um, if they don't, obviously, if they didn't score against Tunisia. Um, then that will be their last. But it's it's a great um it's great t for them to make their own history as well, scoring their first goal at the World Cup, um, as well. Uh, so the, the game ended six one. A little disappointing not to keep the clean sheet, uh, especially after going six and up. But still, six one is still an incredible score. And again, to get five five nil up at half time is just an incredible incredible feat. Uh, so yeah, one of the best games uh, of the tournament so far. Definitely the highest scoring. Uh, that there, there's no doubt about it. And surely the highest scoring game of the tournament. Surely that cannot be beaten now um, at, at the uh, 2018 World Cup um, or or for for many years to come. Anyway, um, surely that that can't be um, repeated for many years to come. Um, but, but yeah, uh, that means Tunisia and Panama both uh, exiting the World Cup at the group stage, while uh, us and Belgium uh, going through to the round of 16. Um, Japan and Senegal have just uh, drawn two all. Um, so, um, so yeah, um, it's intriguing to see who will get out of Group H and. More importantly, who will finish top? So who, um, who, who will get uh, who out of Group G and Group H? It'll be intriguing uh, to see. 
But uh, now to the final game of the group stage now. Uh, it's all gone so quickly. Uh, final game of the group stage uh, on Thursday uh, against Belgium. And hopefully we can put in uh, a performance like we did against Panama. Probably not quite uh, the same score line as Panama. Um, but well, st still, that will give us oozes and oozes of confidence now uh, going into the Belgium game. So, uh, yeah, bring on Belgium on Thursday. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll, now I'll leave you uh, with some clips that I managed to get um, while I was watching the game. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you on uh, on Wednesday with a preview um, of the Belgium game. Until then, goodbye, guys! <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>